What's interesting is Christianity today tends to, has tend to move towards the world. When somebody is in, when we're enduring suffering and hardship, what is common for a Christian to know, tell another Christian is that God does not want that for you. Well, maybe the Lord is trying to remove you from this situation so he can take you into something that's more comfortable. And even worse, sometimes you'll hear Christians tell another Christian that, well, maybe the Lord is mad and angry and he's punishing you with this. Maybe you've lost favor with God. Or maybe this is happening because you don't have enough faith, and if you had more faith, this wouldn't be happening to you. But like we've said, that in Scripture, that's not what we see as the practice. The apostles write letters to the church and encouraging them to endure and encouraging them to be encouraged during this uh, season, during this time of hardship, during this time of trial. And they encourage them again to not uh, abandon. And so when we went through uh, Psalm 119 uh, last summer, the entire Psalm 119, one of the things that we noticed when we were going through that is that they learned that the suffering is that God has in their life at that time is there to draw them closer to God. And what we learned while in that season is that God wastes uh, nothing in life. And so the suffering and the persecution, the hardship and those things are there to bring us closer to God. And again, God wastes nothing in, in life. 